In this video, I present our CVPR 2023 highlight work, Odyssey, Open Vocabulary Panoptic Segmentation with Text Image Diffusion Models. This is the joint work of researchers from UCSD and NVIDIA. It will be presented in person during the Tuesday morning session at poster number 281. Going beyond generative tasks, Odyssey leverages the frozen internal representation of larger scale text to image diffusion models for open vocabulary panoptic segmentation tasks. It segments and recognizes any category beyond the limited training ones. Here are some qualitative example results from Odyssey. It can perform panoptic segmentation of the input image and recognize unlimited number of categories in the real world. The model is quite robust to the input image's domain change and category distribution shift. For example, the Canadian flag, countertop, and faucet, these categories are not in our training dataset, but the model is still able to output detailed segmentation masks and recognize them at inference time. In the past year, text image generation using diffusion models trained on internet scale data has revolutionized the field of image synthesis. It offers unprecedented image quality, generalizability, compositionability, spatial relationship understanding, and semantic control via the input text. In this work, we propose to leverage the diffusion unit of a text-to-image diffusion model for open vocabulary panoptic segmentation. The proposed model is termed Odyssey. Let's first define the task of open vocabulary panoptic segmentation. Given the input image, in standard closed vocabulary panoptic segmentation, the model would classify every vehicle as a truck. However, in the open vocabulary setting, the model can classify them as a pickup truck or a trailer truck. So it may understand that a pickup truck needs a trailer truck to move another truck. Formally, in open vocabulary panoptic segmentation, we aim to segment and categorize any object, even ones not seen during training. There are countless categories in the real world, and how to segment and classify them without explicitly labeling everything is quite challenging. Since text-to-image diffusion model can generate images with many diverse concepts, we wonder whether it could also be used for recognition tasks of many concepts. As a proof of concept, we visualize the results of clustering a diffusion model's internal features. While not perfect, the discovered groups are indeed semantically distinct and localized. In contrast, when we examine the internal features of the CLIP model, which has been proposed for use in recent open vocabulary recognition works, the clusters are much less semantically and spatially distinct. Motivated by this finding, we propose to exploit internet-scale text-to-image diffusion models for open vocabulary panoptic segmentation of any concept in the wild. Here is the training pipeline of Odyssey. Given an input image, we first add a small amount of noise to the image and then input it into the frozen text-to-image diffusion unit to extract its internal visual representation. Since the text-to-image diffusion unit is conditioned on a text embedding as well, we generate a text embedding for the input image via our proposed implicit captioner, which consists of a frozen image encoder and an MLP. The text-to-image diffusion unit is conditioned on the generated implicit text embedding to extract the visual representation. In the experiments, we show that the proposed implicit captioner outperforms using no caption at all or off-the-shelf pre-trained captioning networks. Then we input the extracted features into a mask generator. The mask generator is a meta-architecture and can be instantiated as any model that can generate panoptic masks and mask embeddings. Here we use MaskFormer to predict class agnostic binary panoptic masks and mask embeddings. Mask prediction is supervised by a binary mask classification loss. To predict the label of each mask, we need to learn to classify each mask embedding. Here we explore two settings. The first uses the category labels of each mask and encodes them into text embeddings with a frozen text encoder. We apply a cross-entry loss on the dot product of the text and visual embeddings. The second setting uses weaker supervision where only the global image caption is available. We extract and encode all the nouns and nouns phrase in the caption and use a grounding loss to learn the mask embedding. It's worth noting that most of the components of Odyssey are frozen during training. We only fine tune the MLP and the mask generator with 28.1 million parameters. That is only 1.8% of the full model. To perform inference with Odyssey, we input the image into the text to image diffusion unit and the implicit captioner to extract its internal representation. The mask generator predicts class agnostic binary masks and their mask embeddings based on the diffusion features. We further perform mask pooling on the image encoder features to extract another set of mask embeddings. Given the testing category labels, we encode them with the text encoder to extract their text embeddings. We perform a dot product between the mask embeddings and the text embeddings. 
Then we take the geometric mean of two predictions to get the final open vocabulary panoptic segmentation results. Here we show some experimental results. We train the Odyssey model with the COCO dataset's mask and label or caption supervision and evaluate on the AD20K dataset. Odyssey surpasses prior works, mask clip and open seg by a large margin, and achieves state-of-the-art performance on both open vocabulary panoptic and semantic segmentation tasks. We also compare Odyssey with other state-of-the-art visual representations. The diffusion features of Odyssey show significant advantage over the other representations. In the ablation experiments, we explore which tilt step is optimal for Odyssey. The larger the t-value is, the larger the noise distortion added to the input image is. The smallest noise at t equals zero has the best results on all metrics. Concatenating three time steps yields similar accuracy but is three times slower. Here we compare the proposed implicit captioner with empty caption and off-the-shelf captioning baselines. For empty caption baseline, we input empty string into the text encoder and use the output text embedding for all the images. We use heuristic captioner and blip as off-the-shelf captioning baselines. Since our implicit captioning module derives its caption from the clip model trained on internet scale data, it is able to generalize best among all variants compared. We provide qualitative results of Odyssey on the Ego 4D, Coco, and AD20K datasets. Ego 4D contains many egocentric videos covering a wide range of scenes and objects. Although it has a large domain gap to our training dataset, Odyssey can still segment and categorize each object correctly. For example, in the left figure, faucet, and in the right figure, grocery bag, are not present in the training dataset and yet are recognized correctly by Odyssey. Similarly, power shovel and lawn mower are also novel categories. Here is the visualization on the COCO and AD20K datasets. Here, conveyor belt, aquarium, chandelier, and pool table are all novel categories. To summarize, firstly, Odyssey takes the first step towards leveraging the frozen representation of larger-scale text-to-image diffusion models for downstream visual recognition tasks. Secondly, Odyssey demonstrates the great potential of text-to-image generative models at open vocabulary segmentation tasks. Our code is available publicly. Thank you for watching. Please visit us at poster number 281 in the Tuesday morning session to learn more.